Now, I'm not saying you need to jump on these dated trends. All I'm saying is they won't be dated for long. Hey there, hi, welcome to the channel. I am Garrett and in this video, we're talking all about some dated design ideas and why I think they will be some of the biggest trends for 2022 and beyond. We've got a number of these to get through, so let's get into the video. Now the first dated home trend that I see that I absolutely love and I think is going to become even more popular is actually columns. I love a good column and you all know that, but I think a column can be really great for a lot of different spaces because it's a great placeholder and a filler item object element architecturally for your home. And I'm not just talking about put some columns on the doorway, put some columns out front, and that's great. I have seen columns used in corners of spaces to create fullness and some visual interest. They can be painted to match your walls or the space. That way they blend into the background, but they provide a really good visual textured element to the space. I think a column is really great because I think it adds a sense of formality, scale, and grandeur to a space, but you can use whatever type of furniture it is you have or you enjoy. They can be mixed into just about any style and be very sophisticated. I do, however, like them to be painted in either a white or off-white and more neutral tone. That way we're not having too strong of a contrast within the space because I don't think these are necessarily the element you want to draw the most attention to. I think that they serve as a great background, a great structural element that makes a house look, feel more sophisticated, glamorous, and elegant but I think that they can be very cool and used in a lot of different spaces. The next dated interior design element that I love and I think is going to become very popular is brown. I'm not talking tan, I'm not talking camel, I am talking chocolate brown. Rich, creamy, and dreamy chocolate brown. I think this is a great element for any space and is going to become very popular for a number of reasons. The first of which is interior trends always follow fashion. And right now in fashion, we are seeing the 70s, this style, this element become so popular and glamorous. I love it. I absolutely adore a 70s vibe. We're seeing this with major luxury designers. I want you to think Fendi and Bottega, but this will be brought into homes for the same reasons. And that is because it's not popular right now or it wasn't previously and the pendulum always swings. Meaning what was out will now be in. These chocolate and rich brown tones are going to be easier to find on the resale market because they're not as popular. Not as many people want them. Brown as an element in a space is also really great because it provides you the same grounding element that black does, for example. However, it's less of a harsh contrast. It's a little bit more subtle. It's a little bit easier to take in. Brown is also a natural tone, an element, a neutral, but it can be used to create beautiful contrast. If you have a space that's very white and black, adding some brown into it will create some contrast, some visual interest, and it's also also an unexpected element. I know we hear in fashion a lot that mixing black and brown is like a faux pas. I think that's great for home design, interiors, and fashion. Why? Because it's unexpected and someone is not thinking they're gonna see black and brown together. That's why you should always go for it in your home. There's always a rule about functionality and I think those are great, but when it comes to the colors and the schemes and what makes you happy in your space in your home, I say ignore all of that and add some of that into your space because it is unexpected and it's always really beautiful. However, we always wanna be careful because if you have brown walls and brown floors and brown carpet and brown furniture, it gives us that like brown seven vibe which like <clears throat> let me just pull the negativity out of that regroup that's not what you want in your home in your space in your life because it's just a little bit too brown the next dated home element that I think we will be seeing and become very popular in 2022 and beyond is actually tumbled marble Tumbled marble was great with the whole like Tuscan kitchen vibe. It was like, oh, you have the tumbled marble backsplash. Does anyone remember like in real estate listings that used to be like tumbled marble backsplash as a selling feature? I do and I don't know why they ever did it and whatever, but not the point. 
Tumbled marble is going to become very popular in my opinion because we are moving to this place where we really love these warm toned stone backsplashes and tiling alongside handmade looking tiling. And this kind of has the best of all of that. It's great for those Tuscan kitchens, yes, but it's also going to be very, very beautiful for more modern and contemporary spaces and people that want that natural element. It's great because it's a neutral tone, but it's also structured, it's firm because it's stone, it's beautiful. Something else I am noticing that I actually talked about previously was like broken marble mosaic tiled tabletops and floors. I was just at the hardware store the other day and guess what I saw? Yes, I saw sheets of broken marble mosaics, but it was all tumbled stone. So it was rounded around the edges. And you know, I thought how beautiful was that? Because it would be amazing on a backsplash. You could use it on a shower floor. You could use it in the flooring of your entryway or maybe even an outdoor space. I absolutely adore that and I think it's gorgeous. The next dated home element that I think is going to become very popular is actually all about velvet in modern spaces. Modern design pulled away from velvet it when it kind of started because people just wanted something different. We saw a lot of leather and linen and just really textured elements that are a little bit more coarse like that in those spaces. However, velvet is going to become very popular because I see it. I'm actively seeing beautiful pieces like my sofa here is available in velvet. Why is that? Because velvet is actually a really great material for durability and usage. Velvet is going to be great for more modern spaces because it has that textured element that we are always looking to bring in. It creates a lot of great visual interest because kind of when you brush it one way, it's darker. When you brush it the other way, it's a little bit lighter. That's kind of that visual texture that a lot of these more modern spaces are after, which is why I think we will see it become very popular in colored pieces and upholstery for accent chairs, sofas, that sort of thing. And I adore that. Velvet was actually developed as an alternative to suede because suede was very heavy and it was very expensive and not accessible for a lot of people and you know the middle ages when people were wearing like you know all sorts of like layers of clothing to keep them warm. Velvet was developed as a cheaper more affordable alternative and then kind of overtook it in terms of style not the point. The great thing about velvet is actually the pile that it has to mimic suede. So the pile is kind of like the soft brush loose edges of it. What that means is it will catch whatever gets on it which is a good thing and a bad thing. Darker velvets tend to show more dust. However, they also will catch things like spills, like crumbs and dog hair and, and cat hair too. If you have a cat, love that for you. Obviously, I'm a dog person. So in the studio, I have a blue clay sofa because the dogs don't really hang out in here all that much. It's a workspace and they wanna chill and hang out where we have fun. But in my living room, in my dining room, in all of the areas that they have access to, I have velvet because their dog hair does not penetrate into the fiber making it easier for me to clean. Speaking of dogs and velvet and boucle and the studio, where is Linus? Linus! Bonjour, bonjour. Because he's French, he's French bulldog guy, speak to him in French. Bonjour, monsieur, bonjour. What do you see? What is it? <gasps> what was that? Oh yes, was there a little bird out there? Oh, mm -hmm. you're very tired, huh? Was that a no? Do you need a nap? Do you need a nap? Look at, look at the two of us together. Like, look at how regal this is. <laughs> Linus, you are just posing today, aren't you? Look at the little handsome gentleman. Oh yes. Linus, what do you have to say to everyone? Oh, he said you don't have anything to say because if you're not subscribed, you need to take a minute and hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification to get notified every time we upload. So you don't miss another one of Linus's cameos, huh? Mm. Okay, there you go, we'll see you later. The next dated design element that I think is going to become very popular because I'm already seeing it is actually crystal. And I'm not just talking about a crystal chandelier, which you know I love and I don't care if it's dated or not because I absolutely have to have them. I am talking about crystal vases, vases and vessels. What the difference is between all of those, you can have at it in the comment section down below. And I'm looking forward to reading through all of your conversations about it, but these are going to become very popular for a number of reasons. One is because the kind of very textured vase, vessel, vase was very popular. So we're moving on from it. People just want something different. And I am seeing this less with cut crystal and more with blown crystal. So think less Baccarat and Waterford and more Lalique and Steuben. As a matter of fact, I have this 
absolutely beautiful Steuben piece here that is actually all hand blown. And you can see it's less cut, but it's still got that sparkle and reflection that crystal has. It's really beautiful. It's weighty. It's gorgeous. Meaning I could put the biggest branch in the world in here and it still is going to hold it up, which is why crystal is so amazing. And you know, I absolutely adore it. This incredible piece was actually owned by one of my all time favorite celebrity and performers. So it has a lot of sentimental value to me. So don't DM me about selling it to you because it's not happening. But you can see it's got a lot of these really beautiful, rounded, curved elements. It's got a lot of visual interest and really beautiful. So if you had a very simple floral arrangement in something like this, it would be a statement piece. This would stand out. And that's what I really love about crystal. Something like this is a little bit more of an investment because it's quite a large piece. However, smaller pieces that are not designer can actually be had very affordably. There are actually some really incredible pieces by a lot of amazing designers like Steuben and like Lalique. You know I'm a crystal collector. I have antique Lalique lamps and beautiful pieces throughout my home. Antique pieces are going to be a little bit more of an investment. However, more modern day pieces can be had on the resale market a little bit more affordably. Definitely look into it and check it out if you are just not the person that's feeling the very textured vessel and vases or maybe you're a little bit tired of it. Look for it etched or blown some sort of interesting crystal piece that you can bring into your space because it will immediately elevate the space without adding bulk or weight or too much visual interest while still being visually interesting. The next dated home element that you all are loving and I know you are and I think is going to be so popular in 2022 and beyond is actually all about the colorful art. And I know I am a person that has quite a bit of colorful art as you can see behind me, but that is actually the reason I believe this is going to be so popular. You all are blowing up the comment section all about this piece right behind me in the new studio. This is a Tarkai. It's one I absolutely adore. My husband and I actually collect, and I think we have about seven of them. I'd have to count because as a collector, I have a lot of artwork and a lot of it is hung throughout my house, but some of it's also still in storage. I personally love colorful art because I think it is a great way to bring a fresh, vibrant, interesting element to a space. And it's also very convertible and usable throughout that space. This piece behind me, for example, has a lot of green. It has a little bit of yellow and some orange hues to it, meaning I could pull any one of those out into my space and get accessories and decor, small items, even florals that would match, bring that color throughout the space and allow me versatility while still having a very beautiful and elegant but neutral space that I enjoy. Colorful artwork is great if you have a very neutral space and you're just looking for that pop, that one piece. If you have a space that does not have a natural accent feature, having a large piece of very colorful and vibrant art will be that feature for you. It's a great way to bring in personality and some elements that really represent and speak to you while still having a more neutral and a little bit more timeless space. And that's not to say these pieces of very neutral art and textured artworks are not going to remain popular or be interesting, trendy, or that you won't love them or have them forever. I just think that colorful artwork is the next big trend. It's the next big thing that's going to happen because who doesn't love a little pop of color? It's something fun you can play with. This piece is by a famous artist. However, you can always support a smaller, lesser known artist and get something that's really interesting, very unique. And you can help uplift someone's career by getting a piece of artwork early on in that career that you can actually score a little bit more affordably. The next dated home element that I think is going to become very popular is actually chrome. You all know I believe in mixing metals. However, in my home, I'm a little bit more of a gold person. I always mix in a little bit of chrome because I also adore it. However, chrome is becoming more popular in my opinion because a lot of these really incredible mid-century and post-modern pieces used chrome. It was very popular on automobiles at the time, which is why we saw it become popular in interiors. I think it's beautiful. However, what I would suggest and what I always recommend to you is to mix metals. I love a chrome accent. I love a chrome table and a lot of these really beautiful postmodern sofas have chrome hardware on them. You know that I always recommend mixing those metals together because it will always uplift one while the other is a little bit more dated. The other will feel 
more contemporary or more current, and you can mix them, create visual interest through that. I always like to see two of them mixed together at the most, and I like a strong contrast. So if you opt for chrome or if you have chrome in your house and you wanna mix a metal, go for black or maybe do a brass, something that is going to stand out and pop as opposed to a brush nickel. That's not really gonna have a lot of variation and interest, and it's kinda gonna be like, oh wait, those two are the same, but they're different. It's not going to give you what you need in the space. I think chrome is going to be beautiful for interiors for a lot of reasons, but let me pose this to you. If you have a beautiful gilt mirror, that mirror is silver. That's the color of mirror, and then you've got a beautiful gold frame you're already mixing metals. So why not do that with chrome and gold in another way or another area? This can be something very fun to mix into your space. It can create a lot of great visual interest and designers have always, always throughout history mixed metals. Something worth considering and looking into, chrome I believe is going to be the next big thing because it was out for a while and we're gonna see it come back in. Well, there you have it everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below. And I wanna hear from my subscribers, what is one dated home decor, home element that you want to see become popular again? Hey, you know, I'll bring it into my home and we will make it popular. It will be trending on social media because that's what happens whenever I say anything and you know it's true. Be sure you give this video a like and let me know what is that element in the comment section down below. I also know that you know someone that they're planning on getting rid of one of these elements. Maybe they have that chocolate brown sofa or a chrome coffee table and you are like, honey, you know, save it because it's gorgeous. It's just gonna become in in like a year or two. Be sure to share this video with them because friends help friends and I will see you in the next one.